Welcome to the OSRS podcast where we talk about RuneScape related things of RuneScape related content creators. I'm one of your hosts, Mint Mad Cow, followed by What's going on, boys? Rake C as always. And Rice Cup. Hello. Hey, what's up, man? We got a lot to talk about Finally today. We do, got a man. new boss. We got items. <laughs> Yeah, Delayed man. PvP updates. There's a lot of shit to talk about, man. A hell yeah, of a lot yeah. of stuff. We're, we're going to keep it at Ashihana this, this week, right? And next week, we'll talk about that fiasco, right, of PvP. I, yeah, yeah we'll, I think we should do that, maybe. Yeah, because this yeah, Ashihana is going to be like a solid yeah. hour. So. I think they're both very big topics because we don't want to do like a three-hour podcast. We're going to be here Yo, all night. Yeah, Rixie, you said you had you had a lot of opinions. To talk oh, about. I do. <laughs> I yeah, do, I should, do. Unleash it. Unleash it. it all right. Well, I will say this. It's mostly positive stuff. It's not bad at all. So I'm sure, um, I, I think a lot of people will probably disagree with it. <clears throat> Some people might agree with it. But first, before we jump into that, I think we should talk about the facts. We haven't actually done a podcast in a while. Now, re-reckons were okay. We did one not too long back, but... I'm yeah, just, we explained it. I think we, we explained we, ourselves we did. already, you know? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's how you run a YouTube channel. Just give them just enough to keep them wanting more, just, right? Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> just true. Just a trickle, yeah. That's so, true. Dude, I've been getting... That's not our intentions. Not I've our intentions. Yeah, we're trying to so make quality messages. over quantity. I, I think we're focusing on quality over quantity. I've been getting a lot of I... messages in my Twitch streams about our podcasts. <laughs> like, it's funny, because people seem to come up to me and recognize me more for the podcast than what they do for my main channel, which is kind of funny. But it's awesome. It's really nice. Like, there's obviously people that really enjoy the podcast. Thank you, boys. And if you yeah. guys do like the podcast and you want us to make a podcast every day, then make sure you leave, <laughs> make sure you leave the video a big thumbs up because we're going to lead at, le at least a thousand for that to even come. Like, well, well, step one, scan. streamer house. So <laughs> yeah. first, donate to our Patreon. we got to buy that streamer house and then daily podcast all right easy peasy we'll just wake up in the same room turn yeah, on the computer about what i ate for lunch <laughs> that, oh, yeah dude. we could be we could be like the offline tv of rune scapper could actually Jeez. be a thing we could remake rune news my old series that has one episode bro <laughs> you know oh, if, hell yeah we, if we actually did do that we would 100 percent have to like take advantage fully of everything like like you're saying the rune news dude we could do like a runescape weather daily video dude some stupid shit i'm telling you if we're all under the same roof we'll have ideas non-stop i'll get like this fat ass green screen some 1080p recording a couch fuck it i'll buy all that shit man if you get ass top i i can just imagine re being there like yeah guys i think i'm just gonna go and form like huh. 10 pounds estrial top <laughs> for the day <laughs> <laughs> or is a fourth bulwark or um, <clears throat> that's that's that's, that's, that's a big ass spoiler for my next video but i'm actually so tilted i i don't even have any words man like i literally said before looting that chest i was like because i've had two now what are the chances of getting the same item twice back to back and then you go for your third chest after 200 kc which 160 or 170 of have been all solos I didn't solo the first 27, right? So I have done all solos for the remaining, which is what, like 170? Or, yeah, like 170 or so. And you get free, freed in bulwarks. Like, what is you know, the actual chance of that happening? I feel your pain, man, because I just bought a 2 billion GP staff and I'll lose the freeze battle against a water staff in Zerikin. <laughs> so I, I'm with you, man. I, I agree. RuneScape's fucked right now. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know, man. What? Well, yeah, but at least that's within your control anyways did you make any money off of merch and that stuff no i lost so much i you know yeah. you know here's what happened to me man all right so i'm thinking sell the staff every night and you're gonna buy it back and you won't lose as much money so i sell it for one one five right one billion one hundred and fifty mil then i try to buy it back the next day and it won't sell so i'm trying to buy it on stream for one point two five one bill 250 mil so i lose 150 mil uh -huh. doing that shit when i could have just kept it so yeah. I'm keeping it, and we'll see where the fuck it lands. Cause I'm tired. My bank is drained. I just want the staff. I don't even care anymore. I, I've given up. These prices are weird. So have you potentially lost out on any big money if you were to kept one of the orbs? Because I know that some of the orbs now are worth like a right, stupid so amount, right? I it wish I bought the harmony. Deal. I think the price. I think the price will probably stay unless Jagex makes an announcement where they say that they're gonna make it more common. But I or don't if they think nerf it, do you think they'll nerf um, the orbs? 
Well, they already nerfed it from the original, uh, like planet because before, you know, like what's your max hit? What have you seen, like with your volatile spec? Let's see. I got hit by a, uh, like I got hit by frontline. They hit a seventy-five on my ass. Oh uh, yeah. So fun. so be yeah. They already nerfed it before it came out. It was like you could hit like eighties before. I saw a panic hit a seventy-eight. Yeah, you could probably hit like a high seventy now, but like they they lowered it quite a bit, and they've also made it so that you can't like one tick stack, right? Yeah, it, it's a little okay. bit slow. You need like pit or, or right, something. Okay, okay. Yeah, so like hmm. they they kind of already bounced it out a bit, I guess. I, I mean, uh, would you say it's still you know as a here? It's, it's not. Okay. It's not like super strong. AGS is always going to be stronger. Okay. When cool. it comes to that standpoint, but uh, I feel like people will just see these clips and take it out of context <laughs> and complain till they nerf it for no reason. Because I already yeah, see people like, like this staff's yeah. really strong, and I'm over here losing to like Zerikins. Well, what is the battle? What is the max hit with it? An absolute max mage. I heard it was 80, 79, 80. Well, that doesn't seem unbalanced at all, considering AGS is like what 86, if not yeah. higher, with like max. Yeah, Claus can do that too. <laughs> it's just Claus because people aren't used to it, so people there's going to yeah. be more potential for KO and people and more potential to get KO. Yeah, people are obviously not going to be happy. It is kind of like a Karasi, like people have said, but yeah. I mean, fuck it, man. I don't. Do you know what? I don't think that inherently there was anything wrong with it. The Karasi, the item itself. I think what well, was wrong with the Karasi was how easy it was to obtain it and to re-obtain it. It was 250k for I mean, pest control. I mean, the spec was also 100% accuracy. So. And you didn't really need mage armor. Wait, wait, wait. But... wait was it really? Yeah, it was 100% accuracy, dog. Yeah, but... Unless you pray mage. So you always hit... Yeah, you always hit, but it would range from hitting like a 24 up to... If you were in max strength, what like? Oh, but you can hit like 60s and shit and 70s. And, and, but the thing is, you, all, you will hit. That's the... That's the thing, dude. So it's kind you of like it. the Debo, though. The Debo is 100% accuracy as well. Let's let's but name can, off some differences between the Karasi specs, and yeah. the new staff. Wait, wait, wait hold up. You didn't, you didn't get two specs for the Karasi. Well, with the Ring of uh, uh, Vigor, you could get two specs. True. And, and, the, and the special combat pod. So yeah, we're really going back through time yeah. right now. Wow. Yeah, 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 because I think it's important because the Karasi sword is effectively one of these new orbs attached to the staff. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let's let's name some differences because people keep calling it the Karasi, but it's not even close. It's not to as, as strong as Karasi. No, a Karasi see, was there's fast. a price difference, right? Yeah. So you got right. So you said what two fifty k one mil? I don't know. I I didn't play back then. It, I got was, it was it was two hundred and fifty k, and you could get it any day of the week whenever you wanted. Yeah, it was, it was a PC. Pretty, it was pretty creepy. And you're talking was, about now staffs like what one point five, one point seven bill to use, right? So yeah. price difference wise already and then we have the delay right and, the, and the staff also, is delayed dude and also yeah. the karasi would obviously do best in the best strength gear right even though it had a magical special attack mm -hmm. so the new staff that has come in it's it's it, not it, as strong it, as it kind of could be called the new karasi but it's basically yeah. they've taken away all of the negative aspects to it they did a really good job in implementing that staff like they yeah. they genuinely did. There's nothing there which is really bad aside from the fact you, that you literally rare. you need mage robes. Yeah, you just you need them to use the staff. <clears throat> you yeah, can't. It's just nowhere. It's nowhere near as good as Karasi. It's similar to Karasi, I guess, but nowhere near. It's, it's delayed. Not, it's more it's expensive. Not Karasi, you need mage robes. Um, and <clears throat> not really anything to do with the Karasi, but the staff of the dead is more accurate, right? The accuracy bonus on the staff itself isn't even that good. It's literally you're just using it for the staff special attack. Yeah, it's a spec weapon. <laughs> that's literally. I mean, with that orb, so, that's literally what you're using it for. If your spec, spec doesn't, doesn't hit, hit, which mine, like if I I've been using it on a main deep loady hybriding, <clears throat> and because hybriding is a lot of magic defense, you got hides, even uh, robes have magic defense. It splashes at least seven out of seven out of ten nine times. You know, just yeah, just yeah. So your accuracy times. doesn't get buffed. It's only your damage. You know. I've not actually seen one of these in game, but I have to say, man, it is an ugly ass looking staff, dude. Dude, like, I love what? the looks of it. What are you talking about? Why, man? why, why is cool. there like a teapot on the fucking or like an anvil Ooh. on the top of the staff? Like, what the fuck? You remember when I've been saying that like uh, the J mods have a vampire fetish, dude? This feeds into it. Like, look at this thing. It's got like one of those old ass scales on it and um, a, a vampire spike. And that, that shit just looks like a gargoyle would just slam you with it, man. They really... Yeah, I don't mind the vampires. I'm, you know, I'm pretty I, 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 I'm not used to how it looks yet. That's going to take a little while to get used to that. I'm not going to lie. Wait, Wait I love the look. It's got 15% magic 
damage. How does that compare to the Kodai? It's the same. Same as the Kodai. Yeah, except and... Kodai can save. Yeah, through... look at that attack bonus. The attack Isn't bonus? that more accurate? <clears throat> what about the it's attack so bonus on the Kodai? Isn't that like 20? It's like 28, 28 or something. 28? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so it just it, shows you how weak this is. It really yeah, is the orb you're, you're, that you're, makes you're, this powerful like, then. Yeah, it's the mm -hmm. orbs, yeah. Right. You're literally yeah, just using the Eldritch for special attack. orb is uh, the least useful because that's the one that heals your prayer, but I mean, you have SGS, which yeah. is honestly more that... flexible most of the now, time. Now, you know what's cool, Rakesy, is I was, I was fighting this guy and he was maxed, right? We're near 44s, Arum's DFS, and he's using Staff of Dead. But in the middle of the fight, he switches to the orb staff and uses a special attack. And it's the only reason he has it, it's for the special. So he completely hides it. And then uses it, and it actually almost murdered my ass because I didn't expect it. Like it was pretty damn clever. Yeah. So you can you can use it as a stealth weapon, which I've found to be pretty good. If they don't know you have it, you have a pretty good chance to kill them with it. Well, because no one's gonna expect mage. Yeah, you're just exactly. gonna pray melee for a while, you know, and boom, you just pop get. It scared the fuck out of me, dude. <laughs> I was like, oh, 55. What the fuck? Oh yeah. man, I, I, I drop. I I do really like the way that they've. Like all around the board, I really like the way they've implemented everything. So, in terms of these orbs, for people that you know don't really know what they do, so the Aldrich <coughs> orb is the one which it regens the prayer bonus. Is that right with the spec? Well, no, it, it's a special attack that gives you prayer back. Okay, yeah, that's so, the cheapest one, I believe. Right? Yeah, it's like probably less than five hundred. Less than yeah. five hundred mil. Yeah, I think Boaty got one a few days ago. After yeah. he did, it took him like five hundred and twelve KC to get this orb. And I mean, he was killing it. He, he basically got the spectral. <laughs> yeah, ba basically, <laughs> right? And he had to split with five people. I think it sold for like 300 mil. Uh, yeah, yeah. The yeah. harmonized orb. Oh, what that, is this that is one? the most expensive. That's the, that's the one where it makes the magic staff go from five takes, which is three seconds, to four takes, which is okay. 2.4. So that's so, whip speed. That's trident speed. So wait, this doesn't give a special attack, though. It just no, it just it makes the faster. weapon faster. So it makes it the strongest dps magic staff in the entire game and can you um auto cast with it i heard you couldn't yeah yeah if it's you like fire, okay. if it's like five what about barrage no you can't yeah. i don't know not that one like right but it's meant yeah. to be a, like a better than a trident but at a very high cost so what's the attack speed on the trident it's the vortex that's why they uh have this orb because it turns into a vortex weapon Oh, so basically you can cast like fire surge and it'd be super super fast. So it's more powerful. Yeah, and you can yeah, so it'll hit like a forty nine, I think, max. It's crazy that one tick higher. faster makes this the most expensive mm -hmm. weapon. That's it. Like just how yeah, simple that is. Guess what? This game is run by PVMers right now. So it's it's just PVM's game. I mean, okay, here's a good question, yeah. right? So if you're killing <laughs> I've been doing loads of raids one cogs. With this extra attack speed, is it going to allow you to get an extra hit when you're doing the Mage Hand run solo? No, because it's the same as your Trident. Well, then... It just it hits worth... harder. Why is it you just hit harder. harder. It yeah, hits you just harder. have higher, higher max than your Imagine trident. Fire Surge instead of a Trident spell. So, like, Trident's max is, like, 46 with the best gear at home. But with this max, like, 49. A fucking trident? Holy what about... Yeah, what yeah, about yeah. Yo, what about the, um, the Sanguishti? Or it's reset. just one higher. Saying is like 47. 47, okay. 48. And right, then right. this staff will hit a 49. So, so this is the most expensive orb because the attack speed is the same as a trident when you use it on the staff. But yeah, and it has the highest max hit. Where is this going to be super useful in game? Like what Rates? can you think right now? <laughs> right? Just... That's, a, that's kind of it. <laughs> so, so you can basically fire surge and you can get extra two, what, two damage on the hand per run. Yeah, per hit. Is there yeah. any boss okay. that has a fire weakness? Because maybe that. Oh would yeah. Be also, it's best in soft for the actual boss itself. Because the pillars, you can hit like ninety. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can every... hit like ninety with it. There's a bit of a trend there, isn't it? Like every big boss that has come out, the weapon it drops is always the thing which is the best at killing it. Yeah, they've been doing that a lot. I, I think that's their like long term. Is tactic. it like the simplest shit to implement? Is that why, or does it just work? Yeah, I think it's it a just little works. Bit... It just it, works, man. It, it does work. It keeps the price, you know, nice because you 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 want people to try new content, and then you you get the new items from the boss so that you can use the yeah. new items to try the to, content again. You, <laughs> I, I think they kind of have to do it like that. I think like yeah. a lot of other games, I think they do it sort of differently. So what they do, so for example, the new boss has come out, right? They could have given it 
like a bunch of drops which weren't actually good at killing that boss it could have been something completely unrelated that'd be useful elsewhere for say a boss which was coming out down the line maybe half a year down the line so you could actually get that item ready for the next boss whereas with old school runescape obviously we have the polling system and yeah, jagex so... have no idea what's gonna get into the game or not like they can't actually balance or you know um progress the game in that sense like we can't bring yeah i'm, out I'm for, for the else. most part i'm for the most part okay with it but they can't only uh make items that are just well, best and soft for the new boss it has to be also be best and soft for some other places too here, yes. i got a, i got a really good question for the chat all right so would you rather when a new boss comes out it drop the best and slot weapon for that boss or just have it something that impacts the game differently like what would you rather have uh comment section don't let us uh persuade you either i want to know like, right, yeah I, I do want to say though keep in mind that a lot of it's just kind of like cross variable though because like a lot of times you'll have items where it's best for the boss and also really impactful you know oh yeah but so. i'm just saying it, it seems like it's always best in slot for the boss yeah i mean like I, I can give you guys some examples right like the trend kind of, i feel like the trend kind of started with theater blood because they made most of the bosses there weaker to slash than anything else. And obviously the scythe is like the premier drop, right? So you mm -hmm. it, it kind of had a, a feedback loop where you, you would get the scythe and then you actually just use it back <laughs> to the boss. Yeah. And then it kept the price going up higher because everybody wanted a scythe so they can do the content to make money it from keeps, more sites. It keeps new updates relevant yeah. while they're new. But like that was always the trouble with the scythe, right? I remember thinking that when it first came out, TOB. Yeah. I was like, okay, this scythe... Is good for two things it's good for this right here tob and it's good for cerberus that's literally it right because that's all we really <laughs> well, knew at the yeah, time. yeah and what about more? really yeah. like to an extent that's pretty true and stands true to this day minus this boss coming out but because this boss has come out like the scythe a few months back you know i'm pretty sure the scythe dropped was, down to like 400 600, 700. it was it, chilling no, at like I, five, 600 it dropped down past 500 i'm sure of it i'm Maybe sure wow, it was like a day 500. but like I, I think it was floating at like 600 dude i was or... about to sell my ellie and buy one it was just like it's so cheap right yeah. now would it have been it was, worth it did well, it go almost, up almost out yeah, well, it's, yeah. Like <laughs> it's gone well up dude i snagged it on rixie the day of this boss's release for 750 and i was like yeah, i'm like glad that i got it yeah Made of cheeky 50 mil, which isn't bad. But what I'm saying is, like, they've brought something out, this boss, where it's actually the best in slot, which is, you know, it's cool. It is undoubtedly the best in slot for this new boss. Yeah, everything but... it drops is best in slot for itself. What? <laughs> yeah, so the full Inquisitor and the Maze, right? That probably just domes the boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you Well, the Scythe is the best if you have the full, if you have the armor set, but otherwise, yeah. I heard the Mace is going for, like, 1.7 bill. I look at it yeah, and I go, yeah, why? Like that. What, yeah, like, what's, the mace, what's the mace? What's the mace good fuck? for? Okay, so the reason why you uh, the mace one point seven build is can you flap up the mace on the screen? Yeah, too. yeah. Sorry, yeah. I'm I'm looking at the mace so, in the Discord here again. So I think the mace is fair to say is probably the rarest drop from the whole thing, or 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 on Looks like, like the a shit broom. List. It's like on the <laughs> rarest list or something, right? Yeah, because it's so rare that obviously the price can be almost anything. Whoever has it can pretty much set the price because they're so it's so. But rare. Is it worth it? Is it actually worth to buy it, even though it's rare? Yeah, but only it for attacks, rich ass people. Only for super rich people. The attacks uh, four ticks though. That's pretty. Yeah, cool. yeah, exactly. It's like rapier for crush, right? So you yeah. just like does bang, it have a special bang, attack bang, though? Bang. Nah, or... it's it's basically like behind scythe in terms of DPS, right? And you're gonna use it for this boss because you can save a, a lot of blood runes because this thing doesn't use any charges. Scythe it is super like, expensive, bro, <laughs> to use. It looks like a maid hitting someone with a duster. You know, just kind of like. A poof. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're yeah, right. I heard the uh, we used the Vigoras chain mace animation. I think right. Isn't that the same? Yeah, it kind of looks like it. Vigoras yeah. is a little different, maybe. A little yes. bit. Okay. Yeah. I, I feel like it's more like a flomp. You know, it's just like yeah. A, like honestly, dude, the only reason these items are like in the billions is because I want to get into like the whole rarity thing because that's like such a spam. Like, There's so much to talk about. Topic. Before we yeah. move from the mace, this has 89 strength. Off the top of your head, what does the whip have and what does the rapier have? Rapier is the same. Rapier is the same. Rapier is the same, so whip slightly less. Dude, I'm fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, whip's, uh, whip's like 75. Okay. All right. So it is a uh, regular whip is 75. Is there any bonus for the full set and the mace? It is a big boy. Nah, the, the, the armor the has crush accuracy, which is really nice. Only reason why I'd see every item being so much is just if they had a bonus together, but 
Nah, it's just separate right. pieces and they're all over a bill. That's they must have done something right then because I don't I don't fucking understand. Because they're so rare. <laughs> that's that's literally that's like the number one variable, dude. It's because they're so fucking rare. Now you can't rake it. Did you know you can wield that armor on a uh, 30 defense account? Oh, dude, of course, dude. I know all of this shit, man. I was really like, you have no idea how excited. I was for the release of this boss. And then you're like, shit, I can't. Like, I, I, I dude, have an Obi Mauler. I'll slap some defense right. on it, bro. To, you, you sell the bank. <laughs> to, to put this in perspective, I have not tried day of release content. Yeah. Since I'm talking like a PvP update, like close to 10 years ago. Okay. Didn't you do Nothing. Uh, Infernal? No. Uh, PvP, so. Oh, yeah. Actually, that, that's a lie. Inferno, which is three years Boy, ago. You're right. Get your three, ass out three, of here, man. You were grabbing it. Three years ago. Three years ago was the first thing which I was like, on the hour of release, I'm there waiting for this to come out. Well, guess what? Last time was Inferno. This time was this boss. And I was fucking there, ready to go, man. And um, I love it. I, I think this boss is fucking awesome. I think that people are constantly asking for things. And, like, for example, do you know how many times I've seen people on Reddit and Twitter just absolutely... <clears throat> Alright, not gonna go there. But people, people, <laughs> people are asking... Don't do it. <laughs> people are asking for, like, a lottery system in the Grand Exchange, where you can go there and you can give someone 100k, and if you're lucky enough, you might end up winning and you might have a bill or something, right? And it's like, okay, it's, it's an idea, but it's whatever right i look at this boss and the very first thing i thought when i started killing it and i've killed it maybe 110 times seen one drop which was uh the jar that somebody got on like <laughs> KC. i don't count bro you were in a massive uh, i i know crazy. but like <laughs> the thing is like i was doing it with um a few other youtubers like i did it with mika after 20 kills mika was like fucking hard to it he was like i want to get off this boss sucks blah 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 and i uh, think a lot of people we're expecting it to be like the next big money maker, right? The next big thing. You're gonna go there. You're instantly gonna be getting better money per hour than Zora, Vorkap, no. whatever. But the, th the thing is, like going back to the lottery system, I said that this boss is effectively a lottery system. It's a lottery boss where it's like you're gonna go to this boss and you are firstly gonna be making next to nothing. And if you are making next to nothing you're very lucky. That means that you're doing it and killing the boss in a way where you're not actually losing money, which is what 90% of people are doing right now. Unless you're an Iron Man like yourself, Ree, and you're using the bludgeon, Sorry. which I'm sure you're still actually losing money because you occasionally yeah, use no, one I, side. I use supplies. I use some supplies. Yeah. Well, that, we kind of need a boss like that. A lot of no, exactly. That, Dude, that, supplies. that is, it, that is exactly that. what I said. This is a okay, perfect me... way of implementing our bosses into old school in the future. Do you know yeah, what? Let me, uh, let me, what? Let me add Dude, on to your point then. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I mean, that's how Riskcape used to be. Like All Wars is like that, right? You don't you don't make a lot of money until you get the big drop. Although I will be fair, this boss's rarity is in a level that we've never seen before. It's actually yes, time consumption wise, so much crazier than even Corp. You think yeah. Corp is the primary lottery boss, right? For a long time, but this is the like, one. This you're is you're never gonna finish nice this level. boss when they came. And you're like, you're yeah, never so, gonna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, but like, I'm okay with like the whole like lottery. I mean, you know, put it into Rexy's words. I'm okay with that. <clears throat> but, but like, um, sometimes you could go too far, right? It's all about like balancing it a bit. Yes. I think Jagex went a bit too hard, hardcore. Because I'll give you some examples. Based on the data, can you show the Twitter uh picture of like how many kills was done like yesterday? Yes. Like damn, well, that's a lot of likes, man. God damn, dude. Yeah, but like, and, and, my, tweets anyways, going, my tweets are going viral right anyways, now. Anyways, right? I'm on fire. <laughs> yeah, anyways, like a day ago or something, uh, about 77,000 bosses were killed. Yeah. Since release day, right? And like, I think I forgot who or which group of people are tracking. I think Oblivion, but they were tracking it and like they, they found out that there was only like 155 items from that. From those Fuck. Kills. And think about it. <laughs> It, that that is basically an approximate someone well a group saw an item every 500 kills and these kills take like anywhere from like three minutes to like Five. if you're like in a trio or a duo or whatever it could be like 10 minutes oh god that's so, so you, joke, did your, your so pvm with the wrong people but i guess you're that, an iron yeah, man so <laughs> yeah so like yeah. so like that's just give me an idea you you will see one item on average every 500 kills which on average is like five yeah. minutes or something I so think, yeah, think about it. How I think, long is that? <laughs> dude, and it's... Yeah. 
it's super super interesting i yeah. i didn't know what you just said um but what i was gonna finish off yeah. with in the thought process i was going down and i didn't <laughs> know it was that rare and we're gonna build it on was. that but yeah, like <laughs> th this it's boss great. the thing that i love about it the most and i think that i was streaming on release of this the amount of people that just come in the chat and they were constantly like hey what's your thought on this rubbish boss it doesn't drop anything you know and like yeah, every, they always every, ask, how do you feel about this boss? everybody like, was mm -hmm. like you know slighting it and everyone was saying how bad it was because of the drops and so on but like i think that it's good for so many different reasons firstly yeah when this boss was released yeah what was one of the biggest downfalls that we had in terms of updates progressions and power spike in pre oc going into runescape 3 it was when a big ass boss like this came into the game with these huge new items and rewards that things like gold wars and the barrows they were all instantly just like irrelevant like dried up what why would you bother killing god why would you go to bandos when you can come and kill this boss right now <laughs> this boss not only is 10 mil gp per hour but there's also a chance of getting a max cash drop do you know what I mean? So this boss in itself, the way that they put it into the game with the drop rate that it currently has, I think is spot on. I will say this. Mm. I would be happy if the the uh, the drops that they have right now, which are absolute trash, were to stay absolute trash. Or I would also be equally as happy as if, say, they added a 1 in 100 or 1 in 50 drop chance for like some medium, a little bit of filler yeah yeah, yeah like you know right, so, just just okay. a little something but i'd be happy with how it is now and happy yeah. if they were to do that it doesn't really matter uh, to me i'm, I'm a little cool biased right so i'm a little biased so, so here's what i would rice is about to lay it down lay it lay it down like, senpai like, you, you know you know these you know these like regular jobs i don't give a shit dude they could be worth like negative a hundred thousand gp i don't care that'd be great you, you hope you pick it up and it just takes it from your bank yeah like let me tell you i'm not here to kill this boss for some shitty like fur pots and like bass. I don't care about those drops. It doesn't matter to me. Yeah, right? If I want resources, my dude, I'll just go to Zora. I'll just go to Vorkath. You know what I'm Tell saying? Me. I'll just I'll just AFK some gargoyles. I don't I don't care. Like resources. This game is resource heaven. It's so easy to get exactly. resources. Exactly. Yes. So but but there's you know, like I want to get back to like what I was saying, how it's so rare. <laughs> like based on what we know, it will literally take for a group to collect all items like five thousand kills. And that's not even talking about an individual, right? That's so, so I, fucking I think, insane. I think the unique jobs are a bit too ridiculous. Yes. And, 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 and trust me, I've never said that to anything. I've never literally, I've never complained about how rare, like something's too rare. I'm usually okay with that. I'm usually like, yo, well, dude, make it rare. That's well, fine. What, what happens, have, Rice, is if this is the rare. boss that should be rare, like just hear me out. Yeah. Okay. So, because if every other boss kind of had this kind of mentality, let's say God Wars. The more they grind this boss, the more they're gonna need those weapons or items or best in slot. So I, you know, Bandos went up like what was it, thirty mil for Tacits, right? Fifteen mil for BCP. All those God Wars items went up as well, along with uh, yeah, with uh, supplies and food. So it's not even. It's like you can go and gamble away and try to get one or two bill, or you can take advantage of these spiked items and go and do Bandos and see if you can get yourself a thirty mil pair of Tacits. You know, yeah, yeah, that's it, fine. Um, it's like a domino yeah. effect. Every other boss yeah, yeah, has like not, rare drops. Yeah, I'm not like talking about you know necessarily how how like it's negative or positive. Uh, like, well, I'm just them. thinking. Do you yeah. think the domino? Like, do you think we need like one solemn boss that just is so fucking rare and and just so wild, and the prices are just so high? Dude. Do you think we need one of those um, rooms? I, I like, think. I mean, if, if the community is okay with it, I'm just saying that it's actually really unrealistic to try even. Lead it. Yes. Oh yeah. Like, I'm just saying it kind of feels like a an anchor. You know, we need like, something. Think like about this way: if Jagex is okay with the fact that nobody will pretty much complete this until like two years from now, then it can stay this way. But if they think that people should be able to complete it, then they might want to lower the rare drops just a little bit. Make it make it maybe like I don't know, twenty five percent, thirty percent more common. But that's still insanely rare. There, there obviously you are you so do you have a bit of bias there coming from an yeah, iron that's man obviously I, I i do get that and it's the same for you know iron men like curse yeah exactly like i'm not gonna lie full transparency i would like to complete everything but it would yeah. literally take me like two years 
Yeah, like, because going every day. Dude, I, I was actually in your stream when you said <laughs> yeah. last night you were like, if they were to drop the rarity of these by even just like a mere fifteen percent, I think you said it was either fifty or twenty five percent. I don't know, just a number to make. I, it feel better. I, I think it was twenty five. You said that you'd seriously yeah. feel motivation to get every single item, whereas right now I'm correct yeah. in thinking that you're just going for one, right? Yeah, I'm just trying to get like an armor piece but no, or a weapon piece what, that's not. Did it, what if you what if you get an orb? You can't just be happy with yeah, an orb. Well, you gotta get the staff. Drop it immediately. I'll use it. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, um, I just want to get something that I can use. You know, mm -hmm. like and like test it out, whatever. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'll, at this point, I'm just gonna test it on my main account. Now you know? we've been talking yeah. about is the boss worth it? Do we need uh, such a rarity in this game? Right. Yeah. See, that's but a good question. Is Should it set that? But the better question is, is it is it fun? Is it actually fun to kill? Because I haven't killed it. It looked um, like shit when um, I was watching it, but you I guys have fun. It. Dude, I've it's, it. it's all right. It's a bit... What would you rank it in terms of bossing? Like, give me a couple reference points. Um, where it hangs I put out. it, like, right below Theater of Blood, personally. I and you really like Theater of Blood? Blood? Yeah, yeah. I like Theater of Blood. I like Rates 1. Because they're they're very active. You know, right. So they hit that shit on the target, then, because, like, if uh, yeah, people love grinding it. I, I was hoping it'd be more, like, Corp, but with like roll. Oh no, corp is AFK, bro. Ew. And you got a damage. Yeah. I was kind of hoping like really built in rolls, yeah. and like you could like uh you'd be like, oh, I'm the best tank in the game, yeah, and people I'll just kinda, hit you, and, you know, something like yeah, that. I'll give you, I'll give you like an idea of how this boss works. But like, so there, there are like roles. You know, there's like people that will, you know, might tank if it's like a proper team, not like a random mass. You'll have like one or one or two guys that would be like tanking most of it. And then most people would just be in the back, right? But but there's a lot of stuff you gotta dodge. There's like black holes that you gotta dodge. There's uh um what up what else? Uh, black holes. There's like the, the screen does look gotta... packed when you look at yeah, it. it looks yeah, pretty... yeah. Like you gotta parasites, watch the, parasites. the husks. You that made me not want to play when I was watching people do it. I'm like, you I just see scythes, colors. Yeah, you got right. to watch out for mushrooms, Dude. bro. There's a lot of fucking dodging. You cannot AFK for like a second. The, the, the thing with this boss, yeah. I, I think that... Right, so this is not the kind of boss that for one second you can even... You you yeah, can't you can't won't. AFK this boss like there there is like no AFK aspect. The most AFK you can get is having the game sounds on, maybe partially having listen. one eye on a YouTube video and one on the other, and listening out to the prayer. But you cannot. That's like as AFK as it gets. You cannot AFK, so it requires quite a lot of attention. Which obviously yeah, I, like, I like it. I like. I, I, I do you think... need communication? Like, do you need to be on Discord? Or... No, well, if you want no. like a like if no, it's okay. a mass is whatever. But if that's it's what like... I was hoping for, like a I Discord mean, a call out. Listen, yeah, 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 yeah. In a good team, though, you you want to have some sort of communication because it does help. I'm I mean, talking like on a boss uh, right. where you need call outs okay, to, all right. to, kill. to build nah, on that nah, to build on that communication to get absolute efficient communication for this boss is literally going northeast. Northwest, southeast, southwest. That's literally yeah, all so, you, you. I mean, you it don't just need helps. to be in a Discord to be able like, to kill. Like in, in a in a small team, is really nice to be on Discord, so you can plan yeah. what to go in and stuff like that. So you can like not wait forty seconds. Dude, for the boss or I I think for me personally, so, I'd yeah. like to be in a Discord with a five man, four or five man team, just so I can just be there with them and just be stewing yeah, exactly. in depression yeah. and just be like this boss is shit when are we gonna <laughs> like get a drop and then one day we'll get an orb and just be like oh my god it paid like that's what i yeah, would like to yeah, be in a group yeah team. yesterday was like that because one of my teammates got something and i i oh. had to take a break for like an, an hour you know mary j my boy he well, he... dry on scythe he got the eldritch orb and now he oh. needs to get the staff right to, to actually use it Poor bastard. Yeah, but didn't they, staff that too. didn't they make the staff like they said comparable to the spirit shield from Corporal Beast, which it clearly isn't. It's still really rare because it's still it's like still 300 way more mil. Rare. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, like I, do you know what? I think they should have described it as a holy elixir. That would have been more fitting. Yeah. But even that they is a lot more they common. They should describe it as corp drop style, except on steroids. They should have basically <laughs> just said we've <laughs> just we've just nerfed. The staff drop rate made it slightly easy for you guys to get. So now it is the equivalent of getting an Elijah Sigal. <laughs> like that's what they should have said. But, um, I know, right? <laughs> like it still is incredibly rare. But no, uh -huh. dude, man, you should go and kill the boss, mate. Like you should go and kill it. It's genuinely so fun talking about it. it makes me want to. No, it's really it. fun though. With like I sold like... all my PVM gear. <laughs> <laughs> It's gone, bro. Yeah. Well, I'll pop up with your staff, bro. You know, fucking regular void. I, I got a lead on my iron, but I'll pop up in regular. But like, okay, <laughs> yeah. I, I think something I would like to talk about regarding the boss is, like you yeah. said, 
does the game need to have a boss which is like a an end lottery. game pvm lottery system now i think it's nice i think yeah, the game yeah i think it's i think like only one of them though like not every boss yeah, right? yeah, just no, no one yeah. Boss that's super fucking <laughs> i want to right. complete some boss i mean you know, all right but... <laughs> when we're talking about like this and how you're describing it and saying one boss when when you say one boss, it kind of scares me. It makes me a bit anxious because I Maybe feel like once in a while. Once I, I don't while. want this to be end game in my eyes. To old school RuneScape, there is never to be an end game. It's to be a progression game. So down the line, there's going to be all of these different bosses. Like RuneScape, will, it, there will never come a day where Jagex will be like, "Hey guys, <clears> we have." 100 percent being satisfied with all of the updates we put into the game we are just done the game is perfect that's not how the game's gonna Yo, go right it will always be I... a progression so i think that having bosses like this that are a lottery system i think if there were three or four of these in the game fucking awesome right, man Yo, the more so stuff can the I, better can i Ooh, ask you two a question then do you would you like a variety you're saying you like variety of drop style right like yeah are you okay with zora's drop style too um without being like guaranteed like i'm not saying you have to choose one or the other i'm just saying are you okay it's right like, you already know if there was a reset to 2006 game button right in front of me i'd be like Quack. all right I, yeah, do, no, yeah, do, no. do you do you know what i think it's a point because uh, i'm gonna get into get to a point right reset it all baby okay burn it. it i think so long as they mm -hmm. have future pvm money makers whether it be tob the vorkaf or, i mean vorkaf's like the same as zora but like this boss where you're losing money in the short term, but gaining in the long term. I yeah. don't necessarily have a problem with that because that's a lot of money leaving the game so, in the process of getting that end game item, the long term. And that's the game. best shit. Yeah. One second. It also allows people who are not at this level to be able to invest the next three months into killing this boss to guarantee themselves some armor pieces and solid money to be able to be like, okay, I need to build up to that point. So there's almost a sense of progression in the yeah, PBM. There's more of a gap, take. right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like a, so, uh, um, I think one yeah. of the, I think one of the pros of, I think you already kind of hinted at it. I think one of the pros of having a boss with such extreme rarity is the fact that the prices are more stable that way. Because so few are coming to the game that you can't really, it can't really crash unless they decide to nerf it somehow, right? Yeah. So with that, well, uh, as we don't know, we don't know if they are doing that. So as of right now, it's pretty, pretty safe because the drop rates are incredibly rare. So very few will come to the game. So it's very steady. Yeah. Um, I mean, but yeah, you know, that's, that's one of the pros, right? And, and one of the, and it helps people build up so they can like afford to plan it out and actually not have these items crash on you before you get all the gear for it. Yeah. So like you, you'll be like kind of like have the insurance that you can actually spend all time to grind and build up and actually go there and the items will still be healthy. Yep. I, so I do you know what? I, I, I have to add in people that are yeah. like buying these orbs and then like you, uh, Mint. Like, dude, if you got your hands on that harmonized orb, mate, and you bought it for less than max cash or max cash, do you know how rare that fucking thing is? You want to keep hold of that, dude. That'd probably sell for free yeah. bill at some point. Now, I'm not even kidding. There's so few of these items in the game just to be like, oh my god, I've got it. It's a hot potato. Let me get rid of it quick. Let me use it for content and get rid of it. Like, it's scary it, though, bro, to have I, a three bill. I, 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 I know it's scary, but these it's are scary. so rare. Like, do you understand like, how rare crazy. these are? Dude, one, one second. Let me, let me say this right. On the release of God War Dungeon, yeah, comparing this boss that just came out to God War Dungeon, if the same amount of people in every single world were mass killing Bandos like they were this new boss, right? Within the first day, there would have been hundreds of Bandos oh, yeah. sets that oh, came yeah, into the game. If one not five hundred, only one in four hundred. Let's exactly. be real; they were still farming it just <laughs> right? as fast. So. It would have been yeah. like almost every couple of <laughs> like every minute there'd be a new Bandos set. This, yeah, this so... boss, there was like nothing. The first so, few yeah, days, this there boss was is also slow. Nothing. It requires, you know, like if you try to solo it, it'll take you twenty minutes. So like, don't even think about it. Like bandos, you can you can fit in how you can. You Someone can did a like fifty minutes solo. Mm -hmm. Someone did a fifty minute. Also, Reed, that's, no, yeah, yeah. that was it. Oh, yeah, no, I'm saying I'm saying on average it'll be like twenty minutes. <clears throat> Reed, that, be, be 20 Reed minutes. that's something also that I think is worth mentioning about this boss. Yeah. Like just to give Jagex props because people always slate Jagex, right? They made a boss mm -hmm. where Iron Man for the first time ever. In how long Iron Man be out for? Like four four years or so. Yeah, but Iron, oh, Iron dude, Iron Man yeah, are able to attack the same boss and all get some form of reward and have a chance of getting the big reward. Like that's cool in itself. That brings oh, the Iron Man together. I like I that. that. And also the fact that we've never seen a loot system 
like this. Apart from apart, apparently Zolcano is the same kind of thing where you all attack yeah, a boss yeah, and you all get inspired you know, for sure. I've never seen right. Zolcano. Never uh, no, no, neither have I. And I, I was corrected in my once? stream when I said that. that. Yeah, never uh, done it. Yeah. No. I, I actually, <laughs> I, after being everybody gets something. I, after being uh, hammered for it on my stream, I did watch Foe kill a few of it the other night. And there, I was there, just, there is, it looks there right. is a difference though. There is a difference. Like, so Kano has like a fixed amount. It's like a pie, and then there, the more people are there, the less, of, you know, the pie uh, you get. Dude, I, I, I have yeah. some people in my chat saying Slightly that they're. Different. They're they're nerfing Zolcano. Yeah, they are Be because be because of all the Venezuelans, <laughs> um, right? Yeah. And I was just well, like, I was like, guys, I was like, come on, I was like, please, I was please, 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 don't be so stupid. Don't believe they're gonna they're gonna nerf it because of the Venezuelans. Because well, if they if they actually were nerfing it because of the Venezuelans, <clears throat> it would literally be a case of like, well, why don't they just ban them instead of just nerfing the boss? Yeah, it's, it's hard like, to it's ban for them more reasons than just that. They're, yeah, it's hard to ban them what because the they're. Fuck, they're man. So there, there's more than one they're reason. They're like human uh, bots, is yeah. what you're saying. All of, yeah. hey, just any any Venezuelans who are watching, bro. All right, shout outs. I hope you're doing well. But if my main interest was to make GP and RuneScape, I would be so much better at it. Why are you guys at Green Dragons, dude? Get your ass to Zola or something, man. Learn the fucking yeah. game. Yo, okay, so I'll be honest with you, bro. Like, so Kano's drops are insane. So even before the Venis exploited the hell out of it, you could literally make three mile an hour guarantee at high stats. Yeah, yeah. I was literally making three mile. I don't think there was a single hour where I made less than two. When I was really, there. and that's a mining boss, right? Yeah, it's like a skilling boss. So. It's really good experience because I was thinking about nah, it. Nah, nah, the is the XP is terrible. The rewards, bro. Oh, the rewards are nuts, bro. You get like I got like thousands of runite ore. In if they buff the XP and drop the um, and they nerf the drops, would that be good or? I mean, they could do it that way too. I mean, you know. But right. like the whole idea, the whole appeal was like the reward. I mean, literally, they can nerf it a, a lot. And and if you make two mil an hour and max stats, I still think that's amazing. That for, is pretty for, solid for mining. Uh, um, do you, do you like, know what? Yeah, it, it's three mil. It was three mil. You talk, know, talk, what, what it talking about this mini game, which is a skill and mini game, which can get you up to three mil GP per hour. I think that if they are to continue having those kind, I think if we continued down that route and we had more Vorcaps, more Zoras, yeah, where you were guaranteed guys. two, three plus <laughs> mil per hour, then eventually a potential solution for that could have literally been a case of they brought out, imagine if this boss, we think the drop rate's bad now. Imagine if it was literally like one in 50k per drop. Because that oh, would be God. the only way to get back up there, but it would make no sense. It would not be appealing yeah. whatsoever, right? Uh, mm -hmm. With the max cash obviously being like max cash, just over two bill. But um, I, I think a really important takeaway for, for anybody who's listening to the podcast that has killed the boss and is unhappy with the loot they've received. Would you think, ask yourself this question, would you be more upset with doing an hour of this new boss and losing potentially a couple hundred K or when this boss was released, realizing that now that doing Zora and Vorkaf was no longer the best money maker and killing this boss was a guaranteed free mil GP per hour plus a chance of getting a bill plus item and this was just the new thing to yeah, do. No, it, like it, in my eyes, it's a no brainer. It's like you'd rather you'd rather lose the 500K because this is just, if that was the case for this boss, it is yeah. the wrong direction for the game. That's why I have to give yeah. massive yeah, pops yeah. to Jagger. I think overall, absolutely I like massive, the boss. man. Yeah. Overall, I, agree. I like the boss and the drop table. I'm only slightly disappointed that they made it pretty much uncompletable because I'm biased on that <clears> part. <throat> yes, but um, I think overall, though, you know, there, I think there's, I think the biggest thing is um, encouraging diversity of how drop tables work because, like, yeah. I think it's okay to have occasionally a boss that can guarantee you money because there's a lot of people out here that probably really likes that style and. I don't want to alienate you necessarily, but but at the end of the day, you can't have every boss like that because it will literally crash the market of every resources, inflate like crazy inflation because of like out uh, out out GP like constant GP. So I well, think it kind of separates like uh, the end yeah. game PVM, right? You got yeah. two sides. You got people going for GP per hour, and you got people going for those fat items. And yeah, you have yeah. to make it to the end game in order to even achieve that. You know, going for items. So you got to do one to get to the other. Mm -hmm. so I think there should be. Uh, I think there should be a balance of how drop drop tables work because, like, I think for the past few years, I think Jagex has kind of noticed it, and we have the past few years. Jagex has been really good at making monsters give you guaranteed shit, like yep. Zora, Orcath, 
They 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 buff Slayer mobs. Like what the hell? They made them fire GKGP plus an hour guaranteed. Like Nacarals, gargoyles. Yeah, you know I mean, it, like I think also yeah, that was ridiculous. Yeah. By you know the way, I mean? for like those three for those years, they just kept doing it, and and I think people have noticed that like resources are like all, at an all time low. You know, like they should hire using, like a, making a financial to, like, wizard farm gargoyles and rune dragons, right? I, I don't even know how much GP goes in a game anymore. Probably an insane amount because of them. I, I so will it's say... Nice. It's definitely nice to see some uh, bosses that isn't like, oh, here's guaranteed 3 mil, yes. you know, guaranteed GP an hour. A hundred percent. Revs and like Sokano and Hydra and stuff. Too. Uh, dude, and every, every cool. single oh, boss, awesome. pretty much every single boss outside of Corporal Beast and this boss, yeah. are the, like, for example, like Bandos. If you kill Bandos with a few mates and you do it right... You're gonna profit regardless of where you get drops. It's the same for Corporal Beast. It's the same for fucking everything. This is like the first boss of its kind where it's like you will make no money unless you stick at it and you eventually get those big drops, which is yeah, also unless you're stuck it... like me and you're gonna keep going for it. Yeah. Isn't it a little ridiculous to think that a game based on RNG should have like a GP RNG. per hour for every boss, right? It's like yeah, it's no, an RNG game. It shouldn't. I agree. I do agree. Also, yeah, I'd like to point out, I, I've actually put a video on right here so you guys can see it. You can't see the actual true beauty and animation in this boss, guys. <laughs> He's walking over. <laughs> but but, but so nice. seriously, I have to say, like, my, my real-life friend was around on the day of release, and he doesn't play the game anymore. And he knows about coding. And I said to him, I said, this game, obviously, he knows what the game is. I said, they still use Java to code this. They have Java engineers that code this fucking game. That is what it's ran on. And I was like, they are literally, like, with this boss, with its animations, with everything it can do, they are literally pushing the boundaries every single time they release a new boss yeah, really in terms cool, of man. what the system can do. Look yeah, at Zuck. You know, look at Zuck when you're behind the shield and you're just trying to dodge the massive fireballs that are coming out. Stuff like yeah, that bro. and this. Like, we have to give props and credit when it's deserved. Jagex have done a fucking amazing job with this boss like the animations everything about it you know talking from the drop table down yeah, to so animations everything they've done here yeah, is shout spot out on. to uh shout out to mod ghost this is his last project before leaving uh, damn the team. yeah so this is his last project so he like designed the boss and like uh, i guess the movements too i, I expect so, he's moving to a, a better game such as uh <laughs> i don't know what, what game raid shadow <laughs> legends <laughs> <laughs> He's moving Imagine being a developer on Raid Shadow Legends. That'd be <laughs> yeah, dude. I I hope whoever's in charge after him is you know. I think I'll carry on that. Racy, how long have we been recording? By the way, like an hour. Quite Man. quite a while. Quite a while. Should but... we? Uh, you know what I'm saying, dude? Okay. Yeah, okay. I think I think we got everything. You know, we talked about the drop rate. We had a right. It's pretty solid podcast. Dude, like, I'll the, give you that. The awesome one last, the, the very last thing I would like to say regarding this armor, the boss, etc., is this armor. To me, and I, I want to hear what you have to say, Re, because for you, I imagine you have a very different perspective as an Iron Man. This armor to me is kind of concerning, right? Yeah. We'll and the see. main reason it's concerning is, firstly, it is incredibly rare, which, as I said, I don't think is a bad thing. I don't have a problem with that. However, this is a thirty defense requirement armor. Outside of being an Iron Man. 30 defense doesn't take long to get, dude. It's not a hard requirement to get. What I'm basically getting at is in terms of tier grades, this is garbage. Like, this is rubbish. It just gives the same strength bonus as Bandos. However, I do know that it is the best in slot crush. But what I'm trying to say is, it's like, I feel like for this boss to stay relevant, I don't know necessarily. Like, which item here do you think is the most significant that will keep this boss being content people do instead of it being got, uh, dead content? Is it the fact that this is the best in slot crush armor? Or is it the fact that the staff offers a variety of end game orbs right, well, that can do different things? Yeah, That's well, what I want to know. Or the volatile orb is big. The harmonized orb is big. Uh, the mace is decent. And the armor set is pretty big because armor set actually augments the scythe and makes it even better. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What's it do the scythe? Augments. Yeah, like, because it has crush bonus, right? Scythe is very powerful on slash, but its crush accuracy is shits. So, oh, so it turns into I, a whole I think, different weapon. I think yeah, well, so when you I, have this armor set, it gives it an extra, like, 30 plus 
crush accuracy, which makes okay. it really accurate. I, I think so it's weird. I never thought the scythe would be a crush. It, you know, it, it just, has a crush. Yes, it has a crush. Yeah, yeah. And it has like it's very shit crush. But I, I think of it like accuracy. remember like you cut down the um the grains with the scythe. Mm -hmm. I don't you know. Can you imagine someone just like crushing? <laughs> yeah, like this. <laughs> no, even the stab, even stabbing would make more sense, right? It, but it doesn't. Mm -hmm. It had a stab actually. It actually did have a stab. They got rid yeah. of it though. I, I think it was the word augment that confused me and Mint. Yeah, no, it was like no, no, just you, man. I had you're like. I know that you're talking shit, yeah. and I know I that you can get angry. It. It's, it's not a set effect. <laughs> it's, just, it's just this armor set literally gives like thirty plus accuracy, dude. So, so, so you it. you think that this thirty defense armor, just for that reason right there, is worthy of having a price which is in the hundreds of mils? No, no, it's not worthy of being uh, like three mil. But wait, 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 wait. Let me let me re can I can I change my question? It's because it's rare. <laughs> how right. do how do you think that this armor set? <clears throat> is compared to say full bandos and a full face guard how do you think they would compare uh, what, what, like how big a difference is offensively it? they're the same offensively yeah, yeah but specifically because obviously the selling point for this armor is the crush so for that specific reason how big or do you not know is it one of those I mean, things that we just no, don't know I, yet? it just depends on what you're fighting my dude you know, like Bandos is still better. Like, Dude, you know, Grace, you're looking at the wrong the way. You know how many rich OB Maulers are in the game right now? Yeah, it just depends on what you're doing, my dude. It's just because, like, think about it. If you're not gonna fight something that that is weak to crush, you're not gonna use this armor. I almost you're guarantee everybody with over a ten bill right. bank, other than Re, has an OB Maul pure that they just put yeah. random high price shit on, and now yeah. you got this three bill set that is perfect for that account. Yeah, that's much. what I'm thinking. That's why all the OB yeah. Maul you, you you don't start an OB Maul account and you're poor. You know, you're always like so, a bill plus. Yeah, you're always yeah. a rich. So, uh, so Rexy, you don't actually. This thing doesn't replace Vandals at all. This is a niche armor set for certain bosses. Yeah, right. Vandals is more like a general item where because like. Bandos has, and here's the thing, this thing got a lot of negatives. This thing has negative slash, negative stab. Yeah, yeah. I so see. you do not use this if you're not using a crush weapon. And, and it also has shit defense. So sometimes when defense is important, which is rare, but, you know, in the times that it does, you don't use this either. Yeah. So you only use this at, like, Cerberus, the new, you know, new boss. Uh, right, so. You know, like uh, a few places. I, I get, I get yeah. what you're saying. Where, where I'm yeah. trying to come from is the fact that if these items aren't so unique and they're like the way I described the they way that I described it was like this. Okay. It's like, why did the twisted bow keep its price? Firstly, it's pretty damn rare compared to the rest of the items it's from the mega rare drop table. Yeah, and it's so goddamn good. <laughs> it's exactly. There's such a <laughs> yeah. tier difference between what's best <laughs> next to it and the twisted bow. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's there's a very big noticeable jump. So are you saying why is this thing less. worth one bill each right wait, wait, now? What I know why it's worth it right now. Okay, it's because it's okay. new and shiny. What I'm trying to get yeah. at is that if the this armor? staff with at least one of these orbs isn't significantly more noticeably better than any of the current in-game staffs we have. I'm talking about the Sang staff, the Trident of the Swamp. Then there will be no reason for this staff or orb to hold a value which is worth more. E.g. the boss will no longer be viable to kill because it, the items won't be worth money. There will be no point in killing the boss if that happens. So what I'm saying is, if there's nothing on this drop table, and right now it doesn't matter because it's new and shiny and people will pay bills for it, as Mint Mad Cow's proven. But down the line, when we figure out whether this stuff is actually as good as we deem it to be, if it's not as good and it's still as rare and All the right. boss is as hard to kill, then unfortunately yeah. the content will more than likely become less popular and will probably die. Yeah, I right? mean, that's a lot of ifs, bro. That's a lot of what ifs. But that's what I'm asking you. Yeah, is, do, you do you think that there is anything on this table which is worthy of the rarity that it is in terms of drop rate and also price? What do you think? I mean, okay, like, let's let's be honest. None of these things are overpowered enough, like a twisted bow, to warrant how, you know how rare it is. But because you said it's okay, like you you don't mind it being hella rare. So as long as it's hella rare, then nice. it'll keep its price. That's literally we got a all, thirty all defense strength bonus yeah. armor. Okay, that's a whole different build set right there. For and then BK, we have the I orb, cool. a magic AGS. I made a level okay. fifty two account. I max sixty once. Right, one one second, my. My my issue here isn't the fact of it having a price because it's rare. It's it actually being valuable, right? I don't care yeah, if a staff is... It's all best in slots. So they will definitely hold a good amount of value. But, like, 
you know, a bill is only because it's rare, like that rare. Yeah. If, okay. let, let's say they made it like, uh, let's say they made it like God Wars rarity. And all these items would probably only be worth a few hundred mil right now. Maybe 50, yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah, like... Is that, is that what, you know what I mean? Do you get that? Yeah, 50, no, no, no. I, I, I so, get it. I do get it. So like a, a, a majority of the price just comes but from the fact that it's so rare. We're looking at the God Sword. Armadale God Sword is what, 11, yeah. 12 mil? And that's the strongest weapon in the game, right? Yeah. So it doesn't matter if it's strong or not. It's more like it's based on rarity, but it also yeah, brings yeah, something yeah. new into the game. Yeah, it just comes from the rarity. Like majority of the price is all rarity. So. Okay. Well, yeah. let's just hope that they, the staff has a place in game. I suppose. I mean, I mean, they'll still got a place in my time. heart, bro. All right. Yeah. Uh, but but like you know, it's it's just a matter of supply and demand type of deal, right? So like, if the supply is like as it is now, then uh, you know, I don't, I won't see them go down a whole lot, just because it, it's just so few will come into the game every day, right? As less and less people are excited to do this boss, even less. It's almost like less. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. EVMers yeah. and PKers are fighting over the items when they're trying to buy it too. So you have a diverse try uh, mm -hmm. economy going on, right? Because yeah. you'll have people trying to buy the orb to fallen clans, and you have people trying to buy the orb for uh, bossing, or you know, Obi Mall or armor set, or you know, best in slot yeah, for the exactly. boss. There's just so few in the game that there the demand is, huh, woof, it's ripe, dude. The demand is ripe. Supply. Okay. All right. Good day for merchers. Good day yeah. for merchers. Oh yeah, yeah, merchers, dude. They, they're making bank. Yeah, dude. I, I guess right. I guess my main concern is just the armor, the weapons, having something which keeps it valuable, I other, think... other than the rarity. Because no, I think if, it's if that's okay not because... the case, it will effectively yeah. be like third age, just on okay. a different drop yeah. table. Just think about it. It's not like third age. This is how the price works is proportional to how rare it is. Okay, so like it's still going to be good GP per hour, even if they make it more common, because the price will reflect that, right? Because yeah. if they make it more common, there's no way these items are going to be in the billions, right? It's going to go down to the hundreds of mils. But that's fine because it's proportional because you'll still make whatever few mil an hour, right? It just becomes more consistent. It just becomes more like a Vorkat than a Zora, right? Yeah, As yeah. they make these items more common, it becomes closer to the consistency of that of Vorkat. Yeah. That's, that's it. I, you, I, you, it's I, not I... like you don't make money. You'll still make kind of the same, almost, you know? Yeah, no, no. Dude, I, I, scale down. I, I think we're almost on the yeah. same subject, but we're off a yeah. little bit. But um, just a little bit. Yeah, I, I think that's fair enough. I enjoy the mm -hmm. boss. I think it's good. I think the way they've implemented the drops into the game are good. Um, I would just like to see. I, I guess really what I'm trying to say is I'd like to try this staff out and actually try first hand and see like the power and the difference between using this. And then using anything else. And like, I, I don't feel like, you know, you don't really get a full sense of how something is in game until you try it. For example, yeah. you, you know that the Twisted Bow is incredibly powerful, but you don't know like how that power feels until you're fucking in Sarah Doman and yeah, you like, I know the bitch. numbers and stuff, you, you know? know? Like, yeah. But, it's yeah. like you can hear Thanks. something, but using it is completely different. I think I just need to use yeah. it. And then I'll yeah. be able to gauge whether, oh yeah, shit, this boss actually is worth, you know, killing for a thousand hours and getting this this drop. But yeah, mm -hmm. right, uh, boys, is there anything else that you would like to discuss? I've been done with this conversation for like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not a PVMer, sadly. Yeah, no, yeah, I think we've covered. I, I did really good podcast. So I think we covered every crevice of that weird fucking jumping thing. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, dude. I think yeah. so. I think every um, word is. Yeah, man. Make sure to yeah. like podcasts and spread the word. Yeah, guys. Like we said, daily podcast comes when we get daily thousand pound, thousand <laughs> likes power. per video. <laughs> thousand that, pound daily. That means for thousand every single pound. person. Yeah. Just wait till we get raids Shadow Legends on this bitch. All right, you know. Uh, for yeah. every two people. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, apparently my internet shut off, boys. <laughs> Yeah, you just left us. Yeah, right. did you end my, my bad. No, 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 I didn't. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's yeah, wrap it up. I was saying for every two people that watch this, one of you guys have to like the video. That's a, <laughs> dude, that's an awesome ratio to go for. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I'm, I'm I don't like it that much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, or, or date, do they? <laughs> all right, all right, peace out, boys. Like, I'm, I'm done.